to this bastard before I'm about to molest it. I did crack the top of the relay off just to kind of look inside. I saw that the, one of the little contacts, little butt for the contact, it broke off. I need to surgically remove this. Of course, I can't get a relay just like that. So I got some reed relays. These are high impedance. We got real high resistance on the coils so that it doesn't lay down the electronics. You can't just stick anything in that. Got two of those. Got the new relay soldered in place. Of course, I had to use some wires because the terminals aren't even close to the original. So two of the terminals are soldered in, and then the rest are with wires. There's a contact across this one and a contact across that one. And then I had a parallel. But I had to use two relays because they're each a single pole, single throw. The original was a single, a uh, dual pole, single throw. So, uh, Anyway, I just have to switch two of these little relays at once, so I had to parallel the two coils together. So, these are real high impedance, the resistance of the coil resistance is 1,050 ohms, so it doesn't load the circuitry very much at all to turn these on. Now we got to go check it out, see how it works. I love it when a plan comes together. Fucking perfect. Wait for me to get over here so I can see it. Go ahead and uh, turn it down to like 70. Yeah, that's the, that must be my damper that's chattering. Okay, that explains what happened to this. It's working perfectly. Got a bad thermostat in the zone. What the bloody hell was that?